also understand that you had a very positive influence on the growth of your colleagues and especially a lot of women officers you know who have grown into leadership roles while working with you so in your opinion uh, why is it important for more women to take up leadership positions and seats of influence what difference do you think women leaders could bring to the table you know in organizations uh, government institutions and ecosystems that perhaps have historically seen low representation of women in leadership positions Yes, I do think that everywhere there needs to be a balance, balance between uh, male workers and uh, women workers, uh, because uh, um, women, I think, bring a different kind of skill set uh, on to the table, uh, and a kind of sensitivity also. So, uh, the kind of empathy that they show, the kind of perspective that uh, women have, or the kind of um experiences that they uh, have gone through all that can really help you know particularly when we are talking about the public sector it's very important that uh, women should also be there uh, equally represented in policy making in policy implementation etc um what i have found in government in the ministries particularly there are of course uh, fewer women at the leadership role but uh, uh, when you are there in a leadership role the acceptability is there you know it's not like uh, you're treated in differently from your uh, male colleagues i i have not uh, found that in the government in the ministry etc but now i'm a secretary in the public enterprises selection board and i'm now interacting with uh, people from the uh, central public sector undertaking etc also and what i find is uh, that uh, there also there are very few women and particularly at the leadership level um, there are very few women so i have been um, part of a lot of interviews that have happened for the board level positions that is what we do here uh, recruitments for the board level positions and i find very uh, few women appearing for the interview and uh, very few getting selected also um, what i have been given to understand is that uh, you know in the uh, central public sector undertakings also women are not being given sometimes very uh, important work or very challenging work not because they there is some a negative feeling but because there is a misguided sense of protection protectiveness that you know they may not be able to do this challenging work they may find it difficult they have their commitments at the home front so they may not be able to do all this so i think that It, it's a little misguided sometimes uh, what happens therefore is that they are not able to do those challenging work they are not able to get the confidence that comes from doing these challenging work they are not able to get the acknowledgement of having done uh, really some good work so they miss out on the opportunities uh, for going higher up also but of course i'm not saying that it's happening everywhere there are some very strong women coming but i think the women to come higher up has to be really head and shoulders above the male counterparts so, so they have to have that something extra uh, because the environment is not very conducive to uh, women really rising up so you i think so uh, but in in our team and i if i particularly talk about the social sector uh, part there lot of women are there my team had maybe more than 50% women and very strong women very good very good at their work very committed and focused uh, in their work but i think there are you know different organizations with different kind of uh, work uh, ethics etc